Hi, everybody. It's Laura. I know I just saw you this morning, but guess what I did today? I know you're going to be really surprised. You might not be able to figure it out. Yes, I went thrift shopping again because I have problems. So there's this thrift store in Patterson called Red, White, and Blue Thrift, and I haven't been there in ages. It's probably about half an hour away, and um, you see I'm trying to pull up my chat, as always. It's about half an hour away, and it's, they do 50%, so thrift store. oh my God, they do 50% off Saturdays, but I don't go on Saturday because Laura and I are doing other things on Saturdays. And um, I just haven't been in a long time, so I thought, you know, maybe I'll go. And Chrissy on Reseller Revolution, uh, who lives very far away, she's out, I think she's on the West Coast somewhere. Um, she goes to them, and I know that these types of places are different everywhere, but she calls hers her honey hole, and she's been talking about it and listening to her, maybe think, okay, maybe I should go. And um, So I got the bug, and I went today. And I got a bunch of stuff. And then I also stopped at two Salvation Armies afterwards, although they were very small um, acquire acquisitions. So, um, but before I get into my haul, I wanted to show you guys something totally awesome. Crazy awesome. This is something that I got from Carissa in my little Facebook group. Carissa also sells on Instagram. She's at Tree Magic Shop. So you spelled tree with three E's, T-R-E-E-E, -E -E, Magic Shop. And she was doing a haul video and had this little gem in it. And I was like, um, I need that immediately. And she had not sold it yet. So look, this just arrived today. It does not look anywhere near as awesome this way as it does in person. Um, Chris said, this thing is amazing. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I'm like eyeing a couple of spots in my room. This is awesome. I love it. Also, there were like 752 air pillows in the box. Also awesome. So that was a nice little, nice little treat. So super cute kitties. Because, you know, I don't have a thing for cats at all. Don't care about them. Anyway, but that's awesome. Love it. So um, I am sitting on my phone charger. Okay. Halls, 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 halls. Oh, and also, this is sort of a haul, but not really. Melissa, also in my Facebook group and on Instagram. <sighs> Melissa, I'm trying to remember what your shop name on Instagram is. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have to, put, I'm sorry, it's Melissa Carrick. But anyway, she sent me these slips to post. Um, she'd sent me a whole bunch before and I got all of those listed. I actually got all of those listed. I made a special effort to do that. Um, and then she found some more. So these are amazing. Look how cute that is. Adorable. And this second one, this one's really cute too. It's very simple in its sort of structure, right? Um, I like the little guys there. And it's got a pretty shaped bodice, but look at new with tags. And the fabric is pretty cool too. It's just like a nice little texture that I like. So let's see. So I've got those two. So I'm going to have to post those. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do these tomorrow or not. Lord and I usually go into the city on Saturdays and it takes up most of the day, but he may be otherwise occupied. So we'll see. So I don't know where to put these right now. Okay. They're going to have to sit here. So at the red, white, and blue thrift store, that place was crazy money. It's stupid expensive. Um, they had some great stuff there, but it was like, it was like Lowman's pricing. I mean, it's not like a thrift store. It's like a discount century 21, or I don't know wherever you people are and whatever that equivalent is for you. It was like that free people stuff for like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. I mean, it was nuts. Um, they had 50% off of red tags today, but of course nothing existed with red tags and the like three things I found that did, it, it, even with 50% off, I wasn't going to pay that, but I did get these things. So if I have to open the bag, which I guess I should have done before I started this video, but you know, I get excited to talk to you guys. So this is so crazy. Amazing. I got two of these at this place. 
I there's no way I can actually show you this whole thing. This tacky, hideous looking thing that I love, because I love tacky, hideous, is called a um, an Italian wedding blanket. Let me see if I can find a corner with a good, oh, here we go. So these, there's usually like these weird cherubs on them and stuff, right? And they're these like sort of velvety, shiny material. Um, they very frequently have fringe. Um, this is now, I've found several of these before. Um, hold on. The boyfriend is texting me. I have to see what he needs because sometimes he gets upset if I don't respond to him because he is impatient. Uh, 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 sorry. All right. So, um, these blankets. The first one of these that I ever found, um, I, I found it in my regular unique thrift store. I had no idea what it was, of course, because I don't know what that is. And um, I took it home. I threw it in the wash, the whole thing, right? And because it's like this velvety thing, after I, well, I think even before I washed that one, it was like a crushed velvet at that point. But I think it was sort of like that before I even washed it. Like I didn't think twice about washing it. Then I looked it up and realized how much money they go for. And I ended up selling that one for, it was over a hundred bucks. It was like 150 bucks, 175, something like that. I later found a second one. And again, when I find these things, I mean, the ones that I got at Unique, I probably paid 10 bucks for each. And I may have paid less than that, depending on, on what they were doing that day. So, um, Found a second one. It had a label, like its tag on it. So that one, I just, I didn't do anything with. I didn't wash it or dry clean it or anything. Um, and I sold that one. I actually sold both of them to the same woman who lives in Australia. Um, and I think she works at a hotel. And I looked up the hotel and it didn't look like they would use these things. So I don't know if it's just for her personal use or if she resells them herself. Mm. Or if she uses them at the hotel. I don't know. And I may contact her about these. I found a third one. The third one that I found, also I think it unique again, like was musty smelling and I haven't done anything with it yet because I don't want to wash it, but I don't think dry cleaning is going to get that out. Anyway, now I'm going to have to figure it out because I picked up two more today. One of them was 15 bucks and the other one was, I think, seven. I don't know why, but I mean, and they are both musty smelling, so I'm going to have to figure something out with them. But I mean, look at this ridiculousness. So... I thought maybe I would contact her, the Australian woman, and see if she was interested in them, sort of like, if I do nothing to these, do you want them for 50 bucks each? Um, or I may research again. I researched once before how to wash them or deal with them, and it's very difficult to find any good information on it. So that's those, two of them. Um, I mean, they're really nice money. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys like dropping you on the floor they're really nice money um and again i tend to price on the lower side for things so on etsy right now there's one listed for 150 there's a couple others that are similar like in different sort of colors like more of a pastel -y kind of color way and those have got for like 500 bucks i don't know that that's realistic but whatever um eBay didn't have much at all, so I will probably aim for, I might put, I mean, at this point I've got three of them, so once I figure out what to do as far as cleaning them, um, and again, I don't know if even just having them out in the sunshine, actually, I think that's what I did with the second one. Um, I don't know that having them just out in the sunshine is going to be sufficient either. We'll see. Um, but those two, so those were awesome. Then, let's see, we'll just use this bag. Salvation Army, Salvation, okay, that's all Salvation Army. Is this the rest of my, yes, all right. I did get some other unique things there um, that were not too terrible for price. It seems like the stuff that I would buy for eBay, all the free people and stuff like that, was was a lot more highly priced. The, um, the vintage stuff was a little bit more reasonable. So, let me see, all right. So, 
this is just a cute little lace. This was five bucks. And it's a pretty little lace bolero top type of thing. So uh, there's no tags in it at all. I don't know if it's like bed jackety or or what, but I'm going to probably market it as a bed jacket. Here. Let's see, I hadn't tried it on. It's got one of those little frog closures here. But you know, it's very pretty. Tiny. So that'll be an Etsy item. If I can get it off. Okay. Like that. Oh, I forgot about these things. Um, all right. These I got. So the brand itself is not super excited. I'd never heard of it before. Um, Honey Punch is the brand. I actually saw another piece in the same store that I liked but didn't research or do anything with. I forget. It was probably around 10 bucks. But these are shorts. And look at these things. That's all embroidery. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I looked up the pricing on these on eBay, what they sold for. And there was some stuff that sold for 40, 50 bucks, but other stuff that was like 10. It was kind of hard to tell. These were eight bucks. And I bought them because number one, I, I may try to sell them, but also Lord's niece is young and, you know, um, I send her clothes on occasion and she likes the vintage stuff. And I often send her sort of anthropology free people stuff. And I'm not sure if she thinks that's vintage. I've sent her like one actual vintage item and she says she likes the vintage stuff I send. So I'm not sure if she thinks that that's the stuff that's vintage or if I've sent her stuff that I don't recall. I don't know. But anyway, I could send this to her because it's got such a vintage vibe. I will say that if this fits me and my 44 year old behind does not hang out of it, I am totally keeping these. These are fantastic. Um, but I am very doubtful that they're going to fit me. So we'll see. Anyway, but uh, I would aim these like 30, 40 bucks. I would try to sell them for on eBay or maybe Poshmark would be a great place for that too. Um, this is a vintage crocheted sweater. So this is the tag. And it was funny because the aisle I was shopping in, there were these old women um, two old women who were shopping also and so they originally picked this up and then put it back thinking the price was too high and then they were looking at some other stuff and then by the time you know when I got to this I sort of saw it out of the corner of my eye but I like a linear shop so if I know something good is up ahead I still kind of like try to get through everything beforehand because otherwise I feel crazy um, so, I mean, unless it was something like crazy good and then I'll go snatch it. But anyway, so I got to this and I put it in my car and they noticed and then they got chatty with me. So then she's talking about, you know, do I have a store and this, that. So I was chatting with her. So I thought it was kind of funny. And then she kept bringing me things to show me like, oh, look at this thing. And I was like, yeah. And it was like Ann Taylor Loft or Forever 21, neither of which I have anything to do with. Um, but she kept bringing me stuff. She's like, oh, this is really. And I was like, yeah, thanks. Stop talking to me. Um, it was like my day for having people be chatty with me. But anyway, so some other woman was asking me like if something, she's showing me this guy. Okay, no, I'm wearing, I'm in, I'm in the store. My hair is purple. I am wearing this dress thing. Okay. Right. Over a pair of skinny jeans. And then I had like a black jacket on top of it. And then over that, I had this heavily embroidered coat. She shows me this Gap shirt. It's like a pinstripe button-down Gap shirt. That's it. She's like, oh, do you think this is fashionable? I'm like, do I? Look at me. Do I look like I would find that fashionable? Yeah, of course, I did not say that because I can't. I was like, oh, it's not really my style. I'm not sure. I said, it looks like a very, it's a very nice basic shirt. Like, you don't want to have a personality. I don't know. Um, anyway, so she chatted with me. The old ladies were chatting with me. It was weird. I have, BuzzFeed did a thing about it once, resting nice face. I don't have resting bitch face. I have resting nice face. I have, like, everybody come talk to me for no reason face. I don't know why. All right, so the next thing I got, this was actually a reasonable price. I was surprised. It was $2, um, Lucky Brand, and it's the Asian, it's a thermal with the Asian print on it. So these aren't, like, uh, as, as lucrative as the sweatpants, but I still think they do pretty well. So for 2 bucks. 
Um, I'll put this up on Poshmark or eBay. I'm not sure which. Um, I'm trying to be nicer to Poshmark and see what happens. So I might put it up on there. Um, I put some free people stuff up on there and nobody's purchased anything, you know? I, I mean, I put it like yesterday, the day before, but they've been commenting like crazy. So that was good. Um, oh, and then look at this. So this is a Starbucks mug, but it's got a kitty playing with a ball of yarn. It was $2. And it goes for, I, I can stick this on eBay for like 15 shipped. So, um, I mean, I'll probably end up doing it as like 10 plus shipping maybe. I don't know. I get a little uncomfortable with something this size going into padded flat rate. But we'll see. But it's a cat with yarn, so I had to get it, of course. Um, there was another mug that I almost got. It was a Bahama, it was like a boob mug. It was shaped like a pair of breasts with, um, tan lines and it said Bahamas on it. Um, there were tan lines. There was no bra top, just the boobs. And boob mugs sell, not surprisingly, but it had a little chip on it and um, I had too much crap that I had to go through. So I also got another pair of Lucky Brand. These are extra small. They were 10 bucks, but they're the Asian inspired Asian print sweatpants. So um, I couldn't find a pair of these with a sold price, somebody had a pair up for 50 bucks, I think, available, and it was like a size medium, maybe. So I don't know what I'll do with these. I mean, I knew when I got them that 20 bucks, if I sold them for 20, that was that's gonna be easy. So I probably will go more towards 30 or 40. Um, what I'll probably do is undercut the other person's price a little bit and put best offer on it and we'll see what happens with those. So I have another pair of Lucky Brand Asian pants up there that um, they get some watchers and viewers but they haven't gotten any offers or anything and I think I lowered the price once on them so I don't know we'll see I'm not stressing it all right so that was my red white and blue haul kind of disappointing they used to be this like very janky store in this weird um, like thousand year old building is falling apart and now they've moved locations and it seems like they've upped their prices as well. So uh, that was in Patterson, New Jersey. Delightful area of New Jersey. So then I knew that there was a Salvation Army nearby so I just Google mapped it. If you guys don't have Google Maps on your phone it's the most awesome thing because you don't need to Google it and then look up the address. You can Google directly from Google Maps. So if you type thrift store it will bring up all the thrift stores that are near you. It's amazing. I love it. Um, so I went to a Salvation Army that was near me, and I got two Fire King mugs for 49 cents each, which is a miracle because nothing in my normal thrift stores is 49 cents. Like, it doesn't happen. My regular Salvation Army has a really crappy housewares section. Like, I love them for their clothes. They are one of my favorite places, but their housewares blows chunks. Um, so finding any housewares at this one was fun, and then that they were Fire King mugs and 49 cents yellow, and then this one's Davy Crockett. So they're pretty cool. Um, Money-wise, they're average, you know, um, 15 chipped each probably. And I might try and do these on Instagram. I may try and do it tonight, but I get really ambitious because I also need to do laundry tonight. But I have a couple of Instagram type items that I would like to do a sale for on, on IG. And so, um, you know, and these would do great over there. And they're so, this is so cute. Look at that, Dean. He's got the little little wagon and stuff. It was really cool. I loved finding those. So those were neat. That was the only thing I bought in that Salvation Army um, were these two mugs. So, But I was talking to my friend on the phone, and I learned some interesting things. My friend works in retail, and we were talking about some of the retail brands and selling and stuff like that. So he works for a store called Belks, and Belks is like a department store. He's down in Florida, and it sounds like it's an old lady department store from what I can tell. Well, he was telling me that apparently the limited went out of business or closed or something and Belks bought like the rights to their name. I don't understand the reasoning behind all that, but I was surprised to hear that the limited had closed. And then he also told me that Coldwater Creek closed. And I know that Coldwater Creek is a brand that a lot of resellers are able to do well with. I typically don't pick it up only because I have so many things that I really love to pick up that I can sell either as vintage or as my sort of, you know, um, 
lower end, I, you know, like I consider when I get anthropology and free people and lucky brand stuff, that's the stuff I put into my eBay store to like draw people in and make a quick buck. The vintage is the stuff I love to do, but I really like anthropology and lucky and all those things. So I have enough of that stuff that I don't need to start resorting to stuff like Coldwater Creek. If I knew that Coldwater Creek was going to bring in a hundred dollars or give me a $50 profit on an item, I would do it. But I mean, it's, it's an average, but they sell well, there's a market for it. And so apparently they've gone out of business, which I didn't know. So I don't know if that's going to be better or worse for the cold water. I would imagine for the short term, it's going to be better. Um, but anyway, so there was that. Then this second Salvation Army I went to, um, I just got some basic. It's all stuff that I probably didn't even need to buy. I don't know why I got it. I got there and they were, it was like they close at five and I got there. It was probably like 430. So first I got this vintage t-shirt. It's just um, one of these things. And I just got it because it's vintage, really. Like, here's the tag. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There. Um, you know, it's a little beat up and cruddy looking. It's got this, like, bleach spot on the sleeve. It's a little sort of stained, but not really. Like, this is the kind of thing, I don't know, that they, like, whatever. It's, it's very, like, grunge, vintage, chic kind of thing. So I got that. I got another t-shirt that is our beloved screen stars. It's in, oops, there we go. All my fat fingers in the way. Screen star size extra large. This was $2.99. Um, and I didn't really look at it. I just saw the screen stars and bought it, but Cape Fear. There's nothing on the back. It's plain, 1991 Cape Fear. So, um, although that's interesting because I always thought screen stars with this type of label was 80s. I didn't think that they were 90s, but 91 is whatever, it's fine. Then I got these hideous little beasties. The Escatano high-waisted acid wash jeans. These are so like late 80s. Um, these were $2, so I kind of, and I almost didn't get them, and then I was like, screw it, I'll get them. They're a size 10 petite, and I don't know what size 10 actually is, it's probably not really a 10, it's probably more like a modern 6 or 8, but, um, they're short, but, you know, they were $2, so I'll be able to stick those up on Etsy or eBay also, maybe, maybe a bit, I, Instagram, I don't know, let's see, so they were neat. And then the last thing that I got that was exciting to me, I thought, was this shirt. What? So the tag inside, Surfline Hawaii, which I thought, okay, that's cool. It's a very brightly colored shirt. But then I saw on the pocket, original jams. So this was $3. These are kind of odd pricing on eBay sold it's hard to figure out like there's some stuff that's more around the $50 range but then there's stuff that's like around the $10 range so I think I looked up Etsy and on Etsy probably 25 or 30 would be way easier that was kind of the lower end on eBay um, I don't know I mean I probably am gonna price it in that range anyway I think that the one I saw that went for a lot of money the print definitely will help me because that's very vibrant and unusual um, I don't know what size this is because the size tag was cut out I have a feeling that it's like a medium maybe so the one that went for a lot of money was an extra large so that's you know always a factor so that's all the stuff that I got today. It was a fun little haul. The Italian wedding blankets I'm excited about. I just want to figure out how to sort of wash them or deal with the, the musty smell. Um, I obviously can't stick them in the freezer. My freezer is not empty and there are blankets. So, you know, um, but great profit on those. So, I, you know, I like I want to say it's a, a bolo item. Be on the lookout. But I don't know, like. I don't know how it is that I've found five. Maybe it's just, I mean, Jersey Italians, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, we've got a lot of that in this area, I suppose. Um, so I don't know, but if you see some really tacky velvety and there's other stuff too, that's sort of along those same lines, like um, sort of 
rug type tapestry things that seem like velvet. They look hideously tacky, but they sell well. And I use like a lot of bohemian tags and gypsy and all that kind of stuff on them. They're fantastic. If, you know, if they weren't going to like be a, you know, bed of cat hair after 32 seconds in this house, I would probably stick one on my bed just to, you know, be obnoxious. Um, but they're really cool and they make nice money. So, um, that's it. I'm going to go now and get some stuff. And I have a couple of packages to prep for shipping. I sold two more things today. Um, a baseball uniform, like a wool baseball uniform from the thirties or forties from like a local New Jersey team. I had that up on eBay for 130 bucks for ever. And I finally lowered the price a few days ago to a hundred bucks and it sold today. So that was exciting. I was really happy about that. And then, Oh, an Obama and Biden t-shirt um, from the 2008 election, you know, vote Obama Biden. Um, and I think it's funny because, you know, a couple days ago I sold the Trump sweatshirt. The Obama people paid immediately. The Trump sweatshirt is still pending payment. I'm just saying. I've also got a Jesse Jackson t-shirt from 88 posted in eBay right now. So let's see if that sells too. That was fun. Um, anyway. Yeah, so I sold those two things while I was out and about today, so that was nice. So I'm going to go wrap up some packages and probably go to the laundromat, which is why I'm drinking coffee at 6.45 at night. It's a bad idea, but I'm happy that I will be productive for the rest of the day. Knock on wood. I hope you guys are all having a great Friday, and I cannot wait to see some haul videos over this coming weekend.